Hello and a warm welcome to you all. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video based on this still frame from a video shot, you guessed it, from Traprain Law in East Lothian in Scotland. And in today's video, I've got a little treat for you. Today, Phuket Word will help me to prove that the Earth is not flat using this photograph. So just to quickly orient you to the location and the <clears throat> various objects that appear in the photograph we're looking at today, <clears throat> this is uh, East Lothian in Scotland, just to the east of Edinburgh, uh, near to the town of Haddington. And there are a couple of important hills here. The camera is located on Traprain Law, which is this hill here. Uh, Traprain Law is a, a volcanic plug type of uh, hill. It uh, juts up above the local countryside and has a trick point at the top uh, with a registered height of 221 meters. And if we zoom right in, uh, you can see here the trick point, this little white mark here, uh, small stone circle um, next to it, little, little stone shelter um, up there. So that is uh, Traprain Law. The other hill that is important in today's uh, picture and video is Byers Hill and the Hopeton Monument. And again, we've got an overlaid uh, on both these hills. I've overlaid Northern Survey map so you can see the uh, the elevations. Now, this uh, contour line here is 175 uh, meters. It's a little bit unclear from here, but I'll show you a better shot in a second. And there's another little contour line drawn here at 180 meters, uh, which just goes around where the Hopeton Monument is. The top of Byers Hill is registered as 181 meters on various websites. Uh, just to show you uh, the uh, Ordnance Survey map, uh, you can see the 175 meter contour line is this slightly darker one. And then the 180 meter contour line here uh, and the, the monument here. The monument itself is 29 meters tall. So if the top of, Hope, uh, of Byers Hill is 181 meters and we add the 29 meters of the monument, we get 210 meters for the height at the top of the monument. If it's not 210, it's very close to it. 209 perhaps. The third feature of today's uh, photograph is the Queensferry Crossing Bridge. The Queensferry Crossing Bridge Tower is uh, towers, there are three of them, South Tower, Central Tower, North Tower. The Central Tower is 210 metres tall. Uh, this has been confirmed from construction uh, websites detailing the construction of the bridge. The North and South Towers are 202 metres tall. So those are the three important features of uh, today's uh, video. I'll put a link to the construction uh, website page in the description of the video so you can see uh, that height, tower height is indeed 210 metres. So this is the video uh, from which the still frame was captured. Uh, you can see at the start of the video that my camera is uh, located uh, just a short uh, distance below the uh, height of the top of the trig point. 221 metres is actually given by the benchmark here on the trig point itself. So this benchmark uh, is where 221 meters is. I don't want people complaining that the camera was not at 221 meters. 
So I'll just play the video forward uh, to the point where I captured the still image. It's only a few seconds. You can see that I start to zoom in and I reposition the camera slightly, retilt it here. And let's pause. And so we have here the trick point, the Hopeton Monument, and the bridge towers in a nice alignment towards the centre of the shot. And that's why uh, we see the bridge tower, uh, the, the sorry, the trick point tower here extending up so much. We've simply zoomed in past it and the Hopeton Monument is uh, in the middle of the shot here, as is the uh, Queen Street Crossing bridge towers. So here is the photo uh, for today's video. It's, as you've seen, a still shot captured from uh, a video taken from the top of Traprain Law. You can see the trig point here, the Hopeton Monument Tower here, <clears throat> and the bridges in the distance here. Now I've put this photograph into GIMP2 uh, software and adjusted the levels uh, to make it a little bit more clear uh, to see the bridges in the shot. So this is the uh, enhanced version with the levels adjusted a little bit. Hopefully you can make out clearly the uh, south, centre and north towers of the Queen Street Crossing as well as the Hopeton Monument here on the right hand side. The photograph is uh, level uh, with respect to the uh, bridge towers. So you can see that the bridge towers all lie, uh, the top of the towers all lie on this line here. Uh, so we've got the photograph a level from that point of view and the bridge towers are uh, pretty much in the centre of the frame as is the, the Hopeton Monument. It doesn't make any difference whether the camera is uh, tilted down or up uh, for this particular shot or this particular demonstration, nor with any of the other um, demonstrations that I have uh, published. The bridge tower is 210 metres above sea level. You can confirm this uh, if you look at the construction uh, website uh, that I have linked in the video description and it is 46 and a half kilometers away uh, according to Google Earth. So there's the central bridge tower here. The Hopeton Monument is also uh, 210 meters above sea level or very very close to that and is 8.2 kilometers away from the camera according to Google Earth. So that's the Hopeton Monument there. Now, you'll already see from looking at the line drawn from the, across the bridge towers, that the Hopeton Monument appears to be above the height of the bridge towers, and yet, they are the same height above sea level. Our camera is actually above the height of both the Hopeton Monument and the Bridge Tower. We are effectively looking slightly downwards towards the top of the Hopeton Monument. If the Earth was flat, then the Bridge Towers should appear above the height of the Hopeton Monument, not below the height of the Hopeton Monument. Uh, this is very easy to demonstrate. And well, in order to demonstrate it, I'm going to use a flat earthers video, one made by Phuket Word. So here we are on uh, Phuket Word's channel and his video entitled Impossible Flat Earth Claim Debunked, which of course 
he didn't debunk at all. He just tried to fiddle things by not showing the correct camera location. So the first part of his video, he goes over my one of my earlier videos. But at this point, he makes a little demonstration about perspective, which I would like to use to demonstrate what should happen in the photograph that I've just showed you. So let's play his video. And I'll pause it when we get to the crucial point. Here. I did this a couple of years ago, pointing out the, the difference that we see in the height uh, of the lighters, which are all the same height. And what I did here was uh, at the end of that row, I put a lighter, I raised it up. So it's physically higher than the other lighters. And we, as we, we move along the row, we'll see. Obviously, they, these on horizontally, they all appear to be the same height, except the one at the end, which is higher. And when... So, here we have a situation where we have four lighters, all the same height. And at the, in the distance, a taller lighter, which we can ignore for now. The camera is higher than the lighter in the foreground here. And the lighters, as we go further back, are all above the height of the lighter in the foreground. If we ignore this first lighter and look at the second lighter, the camera is still above the height of that lighter, and the next lighter in the background is above that height. This is what should happen on a flat Earth. So let's return to our picture of the Queensferry Crossing and the Hopeton Monument and remind ourselves what we see in reality. So let's compare Phuket Word's excellent demonstration of a perspective and what should happen on a flat earth and my photograph. I've cropped an image from his video and I've cropped my photograph to place them side by side here. So on the top we have Phuket Word's flat earth demonstration and on the bottom we have reality. The lighter in the foreground is the same height as the next three lighters. The Hopeton Monument here is the same height as the Queen's Three Crossing Central Bridge Tower. We can see, if we look at this pink line, that at the top of the lighter, the second lighter, is above the lighter in the foreground. On a flat earth, this is what we would expect and this is what we see if we do a demonstration on a flat surface. But what happens in reality? Well, in reality, the object that is the same height but further away appears below the height. The pink line here is below the red line. In the flat earth demonstration, the pink line is above the red line. So this proves that reality does not match what we observe on a flat surface. This proves that the Earth is not flat.